mother truckers you and welcome to another video right then so we've had the cast report and uh, of course this is causing ructions amongst the far left who well don't like the fact that they've been proven to be wrong uh and surprise surprise the vast majority of the voices raised in parliament against it are from labor and when they do get voted in by default um you can expect all of it to be ignored and it to be full for fledged attack on everybody now it has been announced that up in Scotland they have paused, not banned, paused the use of puberty blockers for a moment. But they do that and then they do this, which is, um, well, let's get into the article. So, Scottish primary schools appoint children as LGBT champions. That's right, primary school from the age of four onwards now have LGBTQ champions. I'm just letting that sink in for a minute. So Jacob Rees-Mogg, the former business secretary, said, I do not understand why these organisations want to brainwash children with a particular ideals. Correct. Primary school children should be allowed to live in innocence of childhood. Correct. They will learn soon enough from their contemporaries and parents who have the principal role. Correct. And we've seen plenty of child abuse cases. I mean, that's in where parents decide that their children have to be trans or lesbian or gay. Which, I mean, in reality, let's just get rid of the LGB here. That is an issue. It's the T that's the problem. That's what's causing the problem. So, LGBT Youth Scotland states it's trained more than 5,000 teachers since 2021, and its scheme means to reach a minimum of 30,000 young people so we can brainwash them and destroy them and convince them that when they get a little bit older, complete medical experimentation could be formed on them because they'll know no different. The younger you can get somebody and indoctrinate them and brainwash them, the less likely they are to wake up and take the red pill. This is disgraceful and disgusting. If I had a child in Scotland, they wouldn't be going to school. End of period homeschooling. A successful changing the culture and ethos of Scottish schools no, you don't need to change anything, you sick, perverted pedos. Because that's what you are. If you want to convince a four-year-old child to just change their gender, preferably to become trans, there's something not right with you. And to be fair, you also shouldn't be teaching at all. Four-year-olds are not interested. A four-year-old will do everything. They do. If you keep telling a four-year-old to do something, can believe something, can be something, that's what they're going to do. It's disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. Another sign of the mad, insane world. But of course, these teachers and this particular organisation will now be protected under Hamas Useless's hate crime law. Can't say anything out against this because you've committed a hate crime. <sighs> See how it works? And that anyone who goes, oh, well, it's wonderful in Scotland. It's a great law. We should, have yeah, okay. So what you're doing is you're enabling this shit to occur to children. Children. Four-year-olds, okay? Four-year-olds. If you think that's acceptable to be covered by hate law and you think that's absolutely fine, you're a mental retard. To, to achieve gold awards, schools are told they must undertake at least one activity which specifically addresses the needs of transgender young people. Transgender young people. You're four years old. I know you thought you were a, a man, but you need to be a boy, but you need to be a girl, because we need more girls, because they won't trans the other way, and such as conducting a campaign that addresses trans rights. Right, here we go again. For about the millionth time, uh, and the same question I've been asking now for nearly 10 years, is um, please explain what rights have been removed or denied, and what rights you have to have that are better than anyone else's. It's, it's a question that I still await an answer for. I mean, I get them trying to deflect and call me everything under the sun, but they never actually answer the question. So please, again, there is a comment section down below, and I'm sure that people will be vocal enough to let me know what they think. <coughs> please tell me what human rights from the Human Rights Act have been removed or denied for trans people. And remember, there have been plenty of trans people who have done it 
and they've lived a perfectly normal and healthy life without having to rant and rave about anything and have had no problems whatsoever. Only you lot who keep drawing attention to it are causing the problem. Because it's not about trans rights, it's about look at me. It's about being the narcissistic assholes that you really, really are. They are told that they must put organised posters and rewrite school policies in areas such as, here we go again, transgender inclusion at the age of four, and school uniforms to ensure that they are inclusive. So they're all the buzzwords, all the buzzwords. School uniform is inclusive. In fact, school uniform was originally created to be uh, affordable by everybody, so every single student in the school looked the same. End of. So it was the ultimate inclusive uniform. But what do you mean by inclusive? Here we go. Ash Regan, a former SNP minister who quit the government to vote against Nicola Sturgeon's gender self-ID law, is now an Alba Party MSP. And reports I've received on the promotion of gender ideology in Scottish primary, high schools and even nursery schools present a grave concern, especially in the light of the CAS review recommendations. Yeah, you know, the CAS report that proved that you were wrong, even though, obviously, Labour think it's a great idea because reasons. Any case, a Scottish government spokesman... <gasps> Spokesman. Oh, that's, that's not really nice. Is it? I don't know. So we are committed to doing everything we can to make Scotland the best place to grow up for the LGBTQI. No, no, you, you make it just for the T, young people. This includes funding LGBT, so just T, Youth Scotland, to range, to deliver a range of projects such as the LGBT Charter Programme. And they have been approached for a comment and said nothing. But the thing is, all this, but please know, again, it's... The needs of the transgender young people and trans rights and transgender inclusion. So it's only uh, the T that they're interested in. This is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. You can't do this. Why, why do people think this is acceptable? Why are people bending down to this new insane cult that is basically medical experimentation on a global scale. Because we also know that if you do transition, you can't have children. Yeah, funny that. As I always say, remember that we're the carbon that they want to reduce. Any case, I'm done with that. So, until the next one.